30 on that position there. Huxley, find some more sandbags. From Major Holden. The Poles and Canucks have taken Hill 262. Jerry's fallen back. Hard. Towards us? Every last godforsaken one of them. We're gonna need more ammo. Ammo! We need more ammo! Where's the ammo? I need a clip! On the right! Get the cover! Go! Concentrate your fire! Where's the damn artillery? Hey guys! Welcome back to Call of Duty 3. This is the finale. This is the final and the most difficult level in the game, as you can see, starting right up, we died. You have to find yourself some cover straight away. And, uh, yes, it does. It all gets blown away. This is, this is a very difficult level. Expect to die many times here, as I probably will as well. But, how are you guys doing today? Targrove 2011, I don't know if I said that already. I probably did. I am here, still sick, and as I said in the last episode, I'm actually recording the last three levels of this game all on the same day, so obviously I'm still sick here, but feeling pretty good about finishing this up, and crap. All right, hang on here. I've got to adjust myself for this. We did reach a checkpoint, so that's good. Oh, come on, don't kill me yet. I said don't kill me yet. Man, I'm just getting started. All right. All right, time out here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take a second and blow my nose and get a drink of water and get my game face on because this is... I'm not going to lie. This is... This level right here, this is the reason that I play this game on normal difficulty. I will not lie to you. Hey, look, it's a tank. That's just what we needed. back to rally point huh? well let me fall back crap cover yeah well there's the tank realize that that tank can just run over us, right? Oh, 
Into the church, please! Oh! Dude, I got caught on the sandbag. Man. Yeah. Let's go. There we go. And you can just float through walls. That's fine. Up and over we go. Get up or you're dead! Need air support! Now! Popping smoke to mark our location! Stay with me, buddy! And all the air leak pissing off that glove on me! You're going home in a coffin! They're, they're gonna kill us! Don't own bombs! Guys got a point! This no. happens again! I'm done talking in air support! Stay cool, alright? There's our way out! Yeah, this is a way out, right? Right into the middle of machine gun fire. Yeah, that's genius. Although, I guess we don't really have much of a choice here. We don't really have much cover out here, though, either. Kind of don't like that. Got more cover over there than we have over here. That's for sure. Man, this is just a chaotic battle. Holy crap, where'd you guys come from? I wouldn't say that this is this is as chaotic as the mace. Or no, the other way around. This is more chaotic than the mace. And if Huxley would like not jump in front of me, thank you. Where'd you even come from? Weren't you supposed to be getting us a bazooka? the objective? Oh, hold the Germans back. Okay. Well, this is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. This is a very horrible idea. What? 
What the hell MG is it? I took out one already. Is that before or after it rips me apart? Oh, there's somebody on that MG back again. On that MG back again. Can you all stop shooting me, please? Here, now get back here, you idiot. That's no good. That is not good at all. Come on. Get that out of here. This is just chaos here. Smoke, air supports come in, it looks like. We're falling back. They're bugging out of their tanks. Does anybody really know what's going on? Well, guess what? McCullen told me to tell you. You are not dying should, like him. He told me to tell you. You should go to hell. Stay with me. But you're dead. okay, Guzo. Dicks. You're okay. Come on, buddy. God damn it. Somebody get me a bandage for my leg here. Who's in charge here? What do you need, Private? Jerry's falling back. Your squad's needed on the other side of town to drive them out. I right, go with us. We could use the firepower. The rest of you, ammo up. Leave your gear. Just your weapons and bullets. I like how we don't have a corporal in our squad. <laughs> I'm always on point. Come on, let's go. Um Oh. I was like, I can't get in, but hey, there's a door here. And it goes nowhere. Okay. Here we go. Doors open. that bazooka at so you've got to go through here unless I've got to go all the way around
Can you move? Holy crap. To be honest, you guys, I kind of forgot what happens here. <laughs> the only real thing I remember about this level is uh, Dixon. Dixon dies and Guzo takes charge. That's the only real thing I remember. What a jerkish move, though, by the game developers, really. Like, let's spend the whole game getting you, you know... We're gonna spend the whole game with these, like, different people, and you're gonna get to know them, and then in the last three levels, we're just gonna kill, like, a majority of them. I guess that's war, though. No happy endings. It's interesting, though, about halfway through the level is when things kind of start settling down a little bit and you're not in that, you know, frantic fight anymore. Final push. Oh boy. I can't see. There's smoke everywhere. Yeah, final pushes are never friendly. Huh? Holy crap! I almost died. Ah! I did die. Right after I said I almost died. And I was about to say almost is the same as not. And then I died. That's okay though, the checkpoint was right here, so we're good. Dude, what the heck, man? You bastard. Killed me last time, didn't you? But not this time. You use grenades. <laughs> like normal, I forget that I actually have them. used to your all's conniving ways by now. You ain't getting me this time.
Mortar teams. Can you get out of my window? Well, that'll work. Damn it. There we go. There's one down. There's two. Got one more. Where's that last one? There they are. Eliminate the German armored cars. I was about to say, how do you propose that we do that, but... Oh, <laughs> the controls on this thing are kind of weird. Nope, that's not... I'll bet that hurt. Tiger tank? There it is. Oh, another one! I missed! Come on, reload, reload! Defend Chambois, wait for reinforcements. Oh! Get my emblem grain back. Crap. More tanks. I don't like this. Man, this is hectic. There we go. A lot of explosions. Won the war, huh? I'm Guzo. One rule, you're no good to me dead. What kind of pep talk was that? You want inspiration, Private? Read a poem. Canadian and American reinforcements arrive to help seal the Falaise Gap and close off any route of escape for the retreating German soldiers. Four days later, Allied forces liberate Paris, bringing an end to the Battle of Normandy. Well, guys, that was Call of Duty 3.
a game that took me much too long to let's play. <laughs> it should not have taken me as long as it did. It's because I went on those, like, multi-month breaks in between uploading videos. Which I hate doing, and I really... I really hate doing it, but... Man... Like I said, you know, life happens just between working two jobs and trying to build a house and get ready to get married here. Sometimes I just don't have time to sit down and record videos. And I really sometimes don't have time to sit down and edit them. That is a job that takes a while. I hope you guys have, uh... Oh, holy crap. <coughs> Boy, you can tell I'm sick here, can't you? I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. I've enjoyed making it. Again, like I said at the beginning of the Let's Play, this is probably one of my favorite games that I used to play. I can remember coming home from school when I was in middle school and I'd come home and I'd have my uh... <laughs> this is like such a personal story but that's fine I'd get out of school and I'd run um... I'd run down the speedway down the street and I'd get a uh... I'd get a Pepsi Freeze And a package of king size Reese cups. And I I can remember coming home with my Pepsi Freeze and my King Size Reese cups, and I can remember sitting in here and getting on Call of Duty 3, the multiplayer, and just playing it for hours. Man, I'd get out of school and I'd play it until dinner time. I'd go down and I'd eat dinner, I'd come back up and I'd play it more. Oh, man, it was a fun time. And if there's anything that I looked forward to while I was at school, it was being able to get out of school, go get that Pepsi Freeze, and come home and play Call of Duty 3, man. I just, I absolutely loved this game. And I couldn't tell you how many times I played through the single player. I mean, this is... I did it a lot. And then I played the multiplayer loads if I can get lucky and find some multiplayer matches I may do a recording of a couple of multiplayer matches but I don't know if I'll be able to because like I said the multiplayer to this game is pretty much dead now and that just makes me really really sad it really does Audio. I want to see who did the music here. This game has fantastic music. I don't know if any of you have, like, stopped to listen to it. I know it's not one thing that you think of when you think of a Call of Duty game. Look at all those voice actors, man. It's funny that you can pretty much clearly tell who did what, just by their name. Wagrowski? I'll bet you anything he was one of the Polish characters. Music orchestrated. Nicholas Dodd. Well, I'll tell you something, Nicholas Dodd. You did a fantastic job here.
Slovak Radio Symphony Orchestra. Multiplayer stuff. Yeah, we're all to credit stuff here. The realization that I'm going to have to make a bonus episode is just hitting, and the fact that I'm sick and can't hardly talk. It's one thing whenever you have gameplay to actually watch. And you don't need me talking all the time. But a whole episode of just me talking while I'm like this. Oh, good grief. I do need to get this game sent back to, uh... Dakota. And again, I need to give a thank you. Okay, yes, this just reminded me. I do need to give a huge thank you to Dakota Hughes. Without whom, this Let's Play would not be possible. And uh, this is a sad testament of how long it's taken me to get this game done. In the time that I have spent Let's Playing this game... It went from, he just let me borrow the game, to now I have to mail it back to him. Because between the time I started the Let's Play and ended the Let's Play, he moved to Iowa. So, yeah. Just more evidence of how disgracefully slow I am at uploading videos here, but... office manager special thanks and everyone at infinity ward there it is infinity ward you guys used to make really excellent call of duty games and now they're just kind of crap Sorry about that little bit of silence there. I had to cough. Probably gonna edit that out. And trust me, by the time I start my next Let's Play, I'll probably be better. Probably will not be sick anymore. Like I said, I do want to get back into doing it as a hobby and doing it regularly. You know, I complain about my lack of views and my lack of subscribers, but it's nobody's fault but my own, because I hardly ever upload anything. If I was to actually sit down and record something every now and then and upload on a somewhat regular basis, I probably wouldn't have the problems with uh, viewership that I do actually have. Did my TV just go dark? Loading? What's going on here? Ah! They must have ended. All right, guys. Well, I thank you all for watching. This has been Hargrove 2011. Let's play Call of Duty 3. I'm so bad at goodbyes. Uh, that was one thing I didn't have to do for this Let's Play was goodbyes because of the way the cutscenes worked. But anyways... I hope you all have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it and playing the game. Super fun game, super nostalgic game. It's a game I'll never ever forget. And I hope you won't either. And... Blah! Yeah, that's me with goodbyes. Anyways, I hope you all will take care. I will see you in the next Let's Play that I decide to do. Have a good one.